I'd want to come in, provide for privacy, wash my hands, and I've already gathered any supplies that I might possibly need. Hi Mary, my name is Michelle. I'm going to be your nursing student today. And I just have to do a quick assessment, but before I do, can you verify your name and date of birth with me? Which she does, and that matches. All right, Mary, like I said, um, I'm going to do an assessment. I got, want to check out your chest, too, make sure everything's working properly with that, and make sure you're comfortable, make sure your lungs sound good. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, so first things first, we want to do our vital signs. So you'd want to check pulse, um, and especially noting our respiratory rate, because it's very important, um, especially with a patient who has a chest tube. Um, and you'd also want to take their O2 saturation. You'd want to listen to their lungs, um, noting for any signs of cyanosis, a cough, um, and abdominal breathing, and especially in adults. If it's in children under the age of two, um, that is normal. So we're just going to have a quick listen here. All right, Mary, I'm just going to pull up your gown here. Just breathe nice and deep for me. Good, thank you. Mary also does not have any partial breathing, which is good. So everything there sounds good. Um, I would also want to put gloves on and check out her dressing. And since I'm over here, I want to make sure that I also have a bottle of um, either normal saline or sterile water, um, an occlusive dressing, and a pair of chemostat, um, just in case something were to happen. So Mary, I'm just going to check out your dressing. So I want to know um, the dressing, make sure it's intact, um, note if there's any type of drainage, and change the dressing if necessary. So I just want to palpate around, um, noting for any signs of crepitus or subcutaneous emphysema, or if it's tender to Mary. Everything there looks good. I want to check and make sure all the connections on her tube are connected. We want to check the tube for patency, and I'd want to come down here and make sure this box is below chest level, and I'd want to note um, if there's any drainage, the color of it, um, any characteristics, and I could also um, put my name on here and note what the time is and how much drainage there was. Um, so I'd want to take my gloves off then, dispose of them, wash my hands again. Um, I'd also want to note... Um, if Mary is having any pain with or without any kinds of activity, um, and we can medicate if necessary, um, we'd want to encourage deep breathing and coughing, and we can use a pillow to do so, and we'd want to splint to make sure she's comfortable. We want to reposition her every two hours. We don't want any ulcers or to make anything worse. Um, and if Mary was a child, I would want to make sure that the child is comfortable. If they're not sure what a stethoscope is or anything like that, I can have them use it. Make sure they're comfortable but still having a thorough assessment. I want to document any assessment findings, any deviations from the norm, um, the time of that, and my initials. I'd want to um, wash my hands before I leave the room and dispose of anything in the proper area um, if I were to change any dressings or anything like that. Um, I'd want to make sure that Mary is safe, call it is within reach, um, bed is low, she's comfortable, and yeah, and that was my assessment.